Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Jack here, and today I got another Wi-Fi battle for you, uh, me versus my friend Jose. He's an awesome friend of mine and an awesome, uh, viewer, and, uh, we had a pretty cool battle. I used some, uh, very odd Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> some of them e weren't even EV trained, and I just was, uh, pretty much testing out this team on him. And he had a pretty good, uh, team as well. So, uh, yeah, we had a pretty good battle, and, uh, we're gonna get right into it. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty, so Jose is gonna end up sending out a Smeargle, and I absolutely hate Smeargle, it's just, it's such a bitch. And, uh, I'm gonna send out a Linoon. This is a combo that my friend Ramon set up, and, uh, I wanted to test it out. It's Belly Drum and Extreme Speed combo. So, it's pretty cool. I end up going for the Belly Drum, and, uh, I was really hoping he was gonna miss on the Spore, but he ended up not, so that was kind of an issue. Uh... But I was—I uh, knew he really didn't have any moves to take me out, so hopefully I was—I was just really hoping that um, he was gonna like uh, my loon, blah, 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 my Linoon would wake up <laughs> before uh, he killed me. And he ended up going for a sticky web, so that was a bit of an issue. But uh, extreme speed is usually enough to take out a Pokemon, so I wasn't really worried too much. Uh, he goes for a Stealth Rock, so he's all set up now, and I'm kind of annoyed. But if I'm not mistaken, Lainu's gonna wake up this turn and end up going for an extreme speed and just absolutely one-shotting that Schmeargle. So, uh, that was good. I, unfortunately, Lainu's, uh, got hurt by a Rocky Helmet, but his Citrus Berry does, uh, kick in, so that's always good. And so, it's working out pretty well. Um, the only problem is that he does have Gengar, so I was really hoping he wasn't gonna end up sending that out, but he does. So, my combo is pretty much destroyed right now if he goes for the Mega. And he actually does, so... Unfortunately, Lydoon only got to kill Smeargle, but, you know, no biggie. I'm okay with that. Oh, God, I absolutely hate Meg Mega Gengar. He actually goes for another Hypnosis, so Lydoon's put to sleep once more. I could have taken him out with a Sludge Bomb, or I think I had Shadow Claw in here as well. I don't know why, but I just did. And uh, he ends up actually going for a Sludge Bomb, and uh, that's not just going to take out Lydoon. So, unfortunately, Lydoon's down for the count. But, uh, not in vain. So I end up going out for Weezing. Weezing has a uh, pretty good moveset, including Dark Pulse. So I was really hoping to take out this Gengar with the damn thing. And uh, he ends up going for a Hypnosis. Oh, God, he hit again, which really pisses me off. Thankfully, Weezing is an absolute tank on my team, so I wasn't really too worried about uh, him getting killed by Gengar easily. And uh, so Weezing's just going to pretty much eat some moves right now. He switches out Gengar because he knows he really can't do much to it. And he goes for an Electrovire, and uh, I was really hoping uh, this Electrovire didn't have much. I go for Dark Pulse, just because uh, I was trying to get the Gengar out. It does okay damage, it doesn't really do much to this Electrovire. And uh, I just say, ah, screw it, because he's probably going to end up killing me. And uh, I send out my um, DT Rex scene. I was really hoping to get the combo off on this thing, you know, with the um, Weakness Policy and the Dragon Dance. But it doesn't really work out that way because of that stupid... Uh, Static web. He ends up going for an earthquake. It doesn't quite kill me, but um, I'm really not going to be able to last because I can't outspeed him and set up at the same time. So that's kind of unfortunate. So at this part of the battle, I really wasn't looking uh, too good. I really thought I was going to lose, and uh, I was—I think I was going to actually forfeit um, not too long after this, but. Uh, I end up do turning around a bit. I end up going for the Weezing, and uh, I'm going to start setting up on Weezing because I'm his, most of his team are physical attackers, and I'm really annoyed at that. He goes through the Earthquake, but I have Levitate on Weezing, so that's good. And I end up going for a Flamethrower just to see how much damage it could do. And it, it does an okay amount, a little above half, so, you know, not too bad. And uh, he goes for a Cross Chop. That's really not going to do much to Weezing at all whatsoever. So I'm just like, screw it, let's go for the Will-O-Wisp, and uh, so since he's physical, he's going to be absolutely useless now, especially against Weezing. So I really don't have to worry too much about that. And uh, Weezing's going to get his health back, and he's going to lose uh, some of his health from Burn. And so he goes for Ice Punch, and it does absolutely garbage. I think it does like maybe 20 damage. So I just go for another Flamethrower, and I'm pretty much just trying to stall him out at this point. So he's probably going to die next turn from Burn, so I'm not really too worried whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, he does actually end up dying. So, yeah, good on you, Weezing. You did your work. And, uh, I really love Weezing. I gotta use it more. He ends up going for a Scrafty now, and I'm also kind of scared of this thing, because this has a pretty damn nice, uh, pull. But I go for a Will-O-Wisp, because it is usually physical, so... Mm, don't really have to worry about that too much else. 
Uh, he actually goes for a Dragon Tail. I haven't seen that on a Scrafty. That also does no damage, but it's going to end up switching me out. But thankfully, it switches me out to Staraptor, and uh, so I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird. And I, if I'm not mistaken, Staraptor had Life Orb, so Scrafty is absolutely down for the count. So I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird now. I'm just going to one-shot the damn Scrafty, so don't have to worry about that anymore. That stupid little sagging pant mofo. I don't know what I'm trying to say. And, uh, unfortunately, Staraptor, eh, he gets very hurt by, uh, recoil, so that's not too good. Once again, he actually sends out another Grass Pokemon, and it's weak to, uh, flying. I don't know what he was trying to think at this point. I guess maybe he was getting kind of desperate. So I just go for another Brave Bird, and, yeah, Staraptor is gonna die, but I'm just gonna one-shot that Sceptile, so that's cool. So I don't have to worry about that anymore, that's good. And, uh, so really, his the only issue on the team is, uh, his stupid Gengar, and, uh, I'm not too fond of that damn thing. That is very strong and very fast. Uh, he actually goes for an event Pikachu, and I really wasn't sure which one it was. I think it was flying, but it could have also been Surf. Uh, in this one, I th if I'm not mistaken, it was flying. So I was a bit nervous for Cloyster. Um, so I just end up switching out Cloyster. And if I'm not mistaken, I end up switching out for my Liligans. Uh, because I thought this was going to be the Surf Pikachu. Um, and I didn't think it was going to kill my Liligans too much. So he ends up going for the Protect, it fails, and he ends up flying, and I'm like, oh, crap, well, there goes my combo, uh, <laughs> great. So, uh, funny thing is, uh, I didn't know my Liligans was, uh, new, I thought it was Eevee trained, and there wasn't any Eevees on there, so I would have died anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so I send out Weezing because I know he's bulky, and, uh, Pikachu goes for the Fly, it's not really gonna do much else, even with a crit. And so Black Sludge is going to kick in, and I got most of my health back, so that's fine. He ends up going for a Vault Tackle, and uh, I think that's pretty, pretty much going to be the end to his Pikachu because of that one Vault Tackle. And, uh, yeah, I'll explain in a minute or two. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb, just try to get some sort of damage off on him. It does a lot of damage, and I get the Hacks. I never get Hacks, so I'm very happy about that. And he, if I'm not mistaken, he's going to go for another Vault Tackle in a quick second. And that's going to be the end of his Pikachu, because that's really all he can do. Yeah, so he goes for the Vault Tackle. Not going to take out my Weezing, not yet. And uh, that's going to take out him. So, really the only thing standing between me and him is uh, the stupid Gengar. So, I miss with the Dark Pulse, no big deal. Weezing's going to get some of his health back, so that's good. Still looking a little sick. And uh, he's going to send it as a stupid Gengar. I really hate this thing. I just want to try to get some sort of damage off on him. He goes for the Hypnosis. Finally, it misses. I go for another Dark Pulse. And it is going to do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, but it doesn't. it's not nearly enough to take him out because this was a bulky Gengar. He goes for a Sludge Bomb. And I was really thought I was going to die here, but I survive. Oh, wait, no, I actually died. Oh, wow. I must... <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah, so I, act I end up dying, but... Uh, Weezing did a ton of damage, and I go for a Cloyster. Cloyster is uh, skill linked, so he's going to be absolutely destructive against this Gengar, so I don't really care what he does to me. Alright, now, he goes with Hypnosis. Thank God he misses again, and I go for an Ice Skill Spear, and that's going to be the end of his Gengar, and pretty much the win for me. So, one more, and he should be dead, and that is game. So, overall, pretty good battle, and uh, I must say, um, Jose's... Um, Great person to go against, and uh, I'd love to go against him again. So that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.